Hello, my friends. So it turns out that this past weekend I was a terrible weekend vlogger. Everything was just so busy that I never had time to pick up the camera, but I did manage to capture a few moments of the weekend. So I'm going to just do a quick little recap for you and show you my clips so you have a vlog for the weekend. Um, this is a vlog for December 17th and 18th, and on Saturday, Saturday was a big day for my husband and I because, well, first I had a dress rehearsal for the Messiah performance, which you guys knew that I was taking part in. So that was nice and bright and early on Saturday morning for four hours, and then we drove about an hour to pick our puppy. So I have some footage in there, just a couple, couple little clips of the puppies running around, and one of them, the one with the orange collar, is going to be coming home with us on January 1st. So it was it was such a good time. We got to romp and play with the puppies and oh my goodness, I never wanted to leave because it was like little puppy heaven and I love puppies. Oh, I love dogs. So we picked our puppy this weekend. That was the big, big thing of the weekend. And then Sunday, I had the Messiah performance. So I got up and we did some housework and stuff, Get started packing and all that jazz because tomorrow, Monday, is travel day for me. Yippee. I hate traveling, just so you know. I love getting to the destination and being at a destination. I hate the act of going from point A to point B. That, oh, I, especially airport, especially alone. Because I sometimes I travel with my husband, and that's great. He gets to handle all of the things that I can't handle, like the heavy suitcases and lifting things up into the overhead bins, and things that a lot of people don't think about and take for granted. I, I can't do them, or I have a hard time doing them. And it just makes me miserable to have to do it by myself. And tomorrow, I'm traveling by myself. So, that's how I feel about that. But the end result is leaving the polar vortex that is Chicagoland right now, so that's okay. So we packed, and then I had my Messiah performance, which went really well. It was a lot of fun. It was very difficult. My arm is killing me because of having to hold the folder up. Like, again, another thing we take for granted. Other people were complaining about their arms. They're like, I can't imagine what you feel like right now. Um, so, but it was a good performance. It was long. The runtime was three hours three hours, and there was only two 10-minute intermissions. That's it. It's all music. It's crazy. But, and then came home and there was more packing, so it was an eventful and uneventful. It was an eventful, but not necessarily a vlog-worthy weekend. So I have some stuff for you, and I will show it to you, but it's not going to be all that much.
Look what's for dinner, guys. This is like a once in an every fifth blue moon occurrence. <gasps> Lou Malnati's. Weight Watchers friendly. Weight Watchers friendly. You heard it from the man. Zero points per bite. Yes. I of approve. Of course, every bite after the first one is a point, but... You be quiet. This is the best pizza in Chicagoland, my friends. Yum. All right, Up to a week before Christmas, I can be in the Christmas spirit. I like it. Good morning, my friends. I'm behind on tea because I did basically nothing in terms of regular vlogging yesterday. Sorry about that, but I do have some clips for you from the day. But let's see what kind of tea we got going. So number 17 is chocolate covered almond. Hip hip hooray. And it has a caffeine level of one. And then what would I have done in that? I would have done 23. My birthday. Your birthday. Let's see what your birthday brings me. Organic. How do you even say that? Kashmiri chai. That sounds terrible. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Caffeine level of one. Organic cashmere chai. And then, today's the 18th. Sleigh ride. Ooh, that sounds festive. Hope to see what's in that. Caffeine free. I should Ooh. remember. Yeah. Although caffeine free is not, that's the 19th. We want to do, all right guys, this is the 24th. Come on, come on, can't get it out. Why? The 24th, the big day, is called Santa's Secret. Ooh, how appropriate. With a caffeine level of two. And you know what that means? That the one tea that I've been dying to try that I know is in here is tomorrow's freaking tea. <laughs> the last one that I unwrap, of course. That figures. Santa's Secret has all this stuff in it. Black tea, peppermint, sprinkles. Hydrogen, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. Really, David's Tea? You gotta go put trans fats in there. Fail. All sorts of stuff. Well, that's interesting. Chocolate-covered almond is right here, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Apple, hibiscus blossom, pineapple, roasted almonds, coconut. That one sounds good. Vegetable fat. What's up with that, man? Oh, here it is. Green tea, cinnamon, cardamom seeds, ginger, cardamom husk, clove buds, marigold flowers. Well, there we have it. Here is breakfast, my friends. This is an obnoxious amount of egg whites, so I'm actually counting it as two points worth of egg whites instead of one. And I've got the usual in here, so that's three points. Full of spinach, full of peppers, lots of good stuff in there. And then I've become obsessed with the Western bagels that I hauled the other day. They are fantastic. So good. Tastes very, like, they're, they're, they taste like regular bagels instead of, like, diet bread, and it's outstanding. So this is a blueberry one for three points, and I have three points of reduced-fat strawberry cream cheese on there. So it's a hefty point breakfast, but so filling and so good. So there you have it. That was my little bit of footage from the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse into my days, and I will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully regularly scheduled vlogging programming. No promises, though, because travel day is hectic enough, so we'll see. We'll see what happens for Monday's vlog, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.